What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Both of my predictions were right. I enjoyed myself thoroughly. Um, some people probably didn't get to hear my prediction because I did it on my other social media um, because I, I didn't really want to make a video. Not that I didn't want to. I just didn't have the time to really make a prediction video specifically for Triple G versus Marco Antonio Rubio because um, I just, like I said, I ran out of time and I really wanted to focus on the, the Nicholas Walters, Nonito Donaire fight and make that thorough prediction, which I did and I hit that one out the park. So I didn't make an actual video, but I talked to some of you guys and told you what my prediction was. Just like most of you guys, I expected Triple G to win and for it to be an early night. He did that in the second round. He stopped Marco Antonio Rubio. I guess you could say hypothetically there was some kind of controversy between it. Marco Antonio Rubio laid on his back, um, then got counted out, and he stood up at the last possible second, like, and he tried to act surprised as if he was surprised that he got stopped and counted out. Um, just didn't look like he wanted no more parts of Triple G. He didn't want to continue fighting. Just based on the body language and demeanor, he, like, trying to argue with the ref after. You know you were getting counted out. The referee was in your face. He was counting loud enough, and he was like, six seven eight you know what i'm saying and you're not even motioning like you're trying to get up at all you know what i'm saying you can't just start trying to get up at nine seconds it doesn't work like that you know what i mean you're gonna get counted out so i think rubio he was just kind of trying to save face he knew what he was up against um impressive stuff from triple g man i told you i said this a long time ago i don't see anybody at middleweight currently fucking with uh triple g and that includes miguel cotto and i'm a long time miguel cotto supporter it's just I don't see it. Cotto is a great, excellent future Hall of Famer, without a shadow of a doubt. Great boxing skills, heart, everything. I just don't think he's big enough. Maybe if Cotto was naturally a 160-pounder fighting Triple G, it might be a different ball game because he would at least have some weight behind it. But I don't think he's a true, solid 160-pounder. What he did with Sergio was what he did with Sergio. But it shows Golovkin is maybe seven eight years younger than Sergio he hits hard like I mean there's no denying it and he, he seems pretty composed that's actually I posted this earlier on Twitter it's actually kind of scary if you think about it Triple G is so calm in his demeanor and like nonchalant chill like nah I know Mox y'all right like he's just real cool and then when he gets in the ring he's straight up switches like he has multiple split personalities or some shit he just switches into that killer mode and i like that about him he's very composed um i see what he's doing some people complain he hasn't fought nobody but as far as me as a boxing fan i could tell who has what intangibles as long as they're fighting somebody at least decent you know what i mean marco antonio rubio is he the the end-all be-all of fighters is he a world beater no i'm not saying that but a guy who was in the ring with Kelly Pavlik, another person who could crack, a guy who's been in there with Chavez Jr., another person with the iron chin, a uh, good combination and body punches, different things like that. He still has a solid resume um, to let me know that he's at least, at the very least, a decent fighter. Now, seeing this Triple G dispose of him like with ease, that lets me know there's something special about this dude. Because this dude has power, like, so that means Triple G has a chin, because he didn't really, I've never even really seen Triple G phenomenally hurt, like, really rocked and staggered back or anything like that. Now, some people that aren't really, they don't believe in Triple G, they would probably attribute that to the level of competition, but check the record, Marco Antonio Rubio can crack, he has power, he definitely has power, look at his knockout ratio, and his best punches he triple g ate him and kept with his game plan so i'd be anxious to see triple g definitely step up in competition no denying it these c level b b minus level guys it's not going to cut it you're going to need more than that more of an arsenal probably a thinker someone with good footwork a jab you know what i mean just standard stuff he cuts off the ring beautifully so i'm anxious to see it so let's see if miguel cotto could prove me wrong um, I just don't see it. I can't personally fathom Miguel Cotto like fighting Triple G next fight at 160 and beating him. Now, if you're talking about a catch weight and all kinds of stuff, like 
Triple G came down to 155 or some shit because he said he could do it, that might be something different because I've never seen Triple G fight at 155. So I don't know. Even though he said he could do it, I don't know how he's going to look. He might be drained, etc. But I just don't see it. Canelo, I don't see Canelo stepping up and beating him. Um, performances like this, it just it makes it worse for a Triple G because he's not going to really have many people who are lining up. It's kind of like Keith Thurman. He's not going to have many people lining up to fight this man. So I think he's really not going to get challenged until he moves up with bigger guys like the Carl Froches, the Andre Ward, that might be able to take his power a little bit better. You know what I mean? Um, I have some connects in the Triple G connect, the Triple G camp, and I talk to his sparring partner frequently, and he he always reminds me he's like, damn, Triple G is strong. He's strong. That's something he always talks about when we talk. He always says how strong he is. Guess what? This dude ain't even in Triple G's division. This dude fights like a division higher than Triple G. So if you got motherfuckers who are in divisions higher than you and they keep making it a focal point to talk about the dude's power, then there might be something behind it. You know what I mean? Because that's, that obviously shows his power can transition up as if he goes up. If you got bigger guys and you're bringing in bigger guys to fight. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's really it. It was annihilation like I expected of Marco Antonio Rubio. Uh, easy work. Let me know what you guys think of Triple G. What's next? I definitely want to see him. I don't want to see no more Adamas and people like that. I want to see him fight the cream of the crop or the people perceived as that. You know what I mean? The Peter Quillins of the world. Um, even, I don't know, man. Just any of the good fights. Andre Ward if he wants to move up. Carl Froch if he wants to move up. Miguel Cotto or Canelo if they want it. I want to see all those great fights. Fights with the big names. Because these other dudes, they're not really... Um, on that level to to compete or have a game plan or experience whatever it is let me know what you guys think of this fight not much to talk about that's why i had to fill it with other stuff because it was a second round knockout as always hey comment or subscribe till next video's ego signing off mm -hmm.